Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If a customer returns a purchased item, there are a couple of options for returning the money to the customer. You can either create a credit memo or process a refund for that customer. Ultimately, you and the customer will decide the option to use. The first option is to create a credit memo. To manually control how a credit memo is applied, check the Automation Settings by clicking the Gear button and selecting Account and Settings under the Your Company heading. In the Account and Settings window that opens, click the Advanced tab and then click the Automation section. Uncheck the Automatically Apply Credits checkbox to manually control the application of credit memos to invoices in the Receive Payment window. If checked, QuickBooks Online Plus controls the application of credit memos. In this case, any new credit memo is automatically applied to the oldest existing invoice when you next receive a payment from the customer in the Receive Payment window. Click Save to save your settings, and then click the Done button to close the window. To then create a credit memo, click the Create button, and then select Credit Memo under the Customers heading to open the Credit Memo window. Use the Choose a Customer drop-down list at the top of the page to select the customer. Click into the Product Service column in the Line Items section to select either the products or services for which the customer is being credited or to select the Add New Choice to create a new general credit item. If you create a new general credit item, then in the Product Service Information menu, pick a name for the credit and select the income account to which the credit is applied. Leave the sale price or rate field blank and ensure the Is Taxable checkbox is unchecked. When finished, click Save and Close to return to the Credit Memo window. Then enter the amount into the Amount column. The Total Credit field at the bottom of the list and the Amount to Refund field at the top of the page both show the credit amount entered. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save and close it. Alternatively, if the customer wants a refund in the form of check, cash, or credit card, you can create a refund receipt instead. The difference between a credit memo and a refund receipt is that with a refund receipt, the customer immediately receives a refund. To create a refund receipt, click the Create button, and select Refund Receipt under the Customer's heading to open the Refund Receipt window. Select the customer from the Choose a Customer drop-down. Then select a Payment Method and an account to process the Refund From by using the drop-downs below the Billing Address field. You must select an account from which to process the refund even if returning cash to the customer. If accepting payments through QuickBooks, you can click the Refund Payment in QuickBooks link to process the refund through QuickBooks Payments. If processing a refund by check, a Check Number field appears after selecting an account from which to process the refund. Check the Print Later checkbox below this field if you are not immediately printing the check. When you issue a refund by check, a Print Check link appears when you click the Print or Preview button at the bottom of the page. Processing a refund by credit card requires a credit card service to be enabled. You must also click the Enter Credit Card Details button to open the credit card information menu. Next, select the products or services being refunded or create a new refund product or service using the Add New Choice within the Product Service column. After making your selection in the Product Service column, ensure the amount of the refund is correct. If processing the refund by check, Click the Printer Preview button and then click the Print Check link to print the check. Processing by credit card refunds the transaction amount to the customer's credit card, either immediately or during the batch processing, depending on how you have your credit card system set up. If returning the refund using cash or after completing the other options, click the Save and Close button to save the refund and close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.